using, right? So first step is to understand the requirements. And the second step is to quickly design or sketch a plan on how those systems will be separated, right? So could go to a diagram, for example. Maybe we have a sketch all lines maneuvers service, right? That it will be responsible for getting the maneuvers from an API. Here we can have the list of maneuvers selector view. <laughs> UI kit that could be Swift UI, it doesn't matter, right? It can be that's just a framework implementation. But you can use the same service with UI kit, with Swift UI, with watch OS, with iOS, with anything. But if you build this functionality inside of your controller, then it can only be used with UI kit and so on. So that's why we want to separate them so we can build them independently and solve one problem at a time. We don't get stuck with a huge requirement because everyone gets stuck if there's a huge requirement, it's, it's very hard to know where to start. So we just quickly sketch a plan here. Okay, we will have discrete pieces of functionality. One is a service that will get um, a list of maneuvers and we'll have some user interface that will display a list of names and allows you to select a couple of them. But somehow they, they will have to talk to each other, right? At some point, they, they need to have some some planning to make sure that it will be easier to compose them later. Because if we make this plan and we design that, those are discrete pieces of functionality. I can decide, you know what? Mike, you will write the service and Claudia, you will write the, the view. And when both of you are done, you will put this feature together. But if you build in a way and Mike build in another way without any plan, without any sketch of design or any kind of boundary you you expect them to have then they won't compose well you will spend a lot of time now trying to make these two things that were not built to be, talk to each other to talk to each other so there will be a, a cost of integration so by a plan you mean like let's say i i'm building the view and i expect it to take in like a dependency injection type situation, but he doesn't build it that way because we never talked. Yes. Yeah. For example, we could decide here, okay, how can we work independently and then compose it easily later on? Well, let's define an interface like a uh, maneuvers service. And this interface has zero cost because there's no implementation. You just define actually the interface like a protocol. And you can say, okay, there will be a method here that we will call it get all, something like that, or all maneuvers. Yeah. Or load all. And there we will return an array of maneuvers, let's say. That's the outcome of it. And say you can even say oh it's async okay there is zero cost of creating this protocol at first because there's no implementation but now you set a boundary an interface here an abstraction that says that now the the ui maybe can consume this service through this interface and someone else may be implemented this interface now when it's time to combine them it's just as you say it's just a dependency injection thing you just pass the implementation to the UI, but you can build them independently, right? Right. And you can even decide it later, you know what, I don't want it to come from a backhand. Sometimes I want to show a predefined list when, I don't know, I want to show it from a database or I want to show it from a cache version of the data. So you have options now because you're not coupled with a concrete, with the provenance of the data, right? If you do the request in the view, then it can only come from the request but if you separate them you can develop them independently you can have different sources of data injected into the view and so on so if you're doing this in a pair programming you either do everything together 
pair programming, or at some point you can say, you know what, we have a good design here. I build a view, you build the service, then we compose them. As long as we both fulfill the interface, we decide together, it's good. And that's how we work with backend, for example. We talk to the backend team and say, okay, we are, you make a request to this endpoint, passing this specific data in this format, it's a post request, and we will, we promise that we will return to you a response, 200 status code with this JSON body, with these properties, right? We create this interface, this agreement, this contract, and we can work independently. The backend can build their code, we can build our code, and then we integrate it, make sure that it works. Just like we mentioned here, saving locally. Let's create a maneuvers repository, for example. And say like save a list of maneuvers. Now it's much faster and cheaper to spend time on design than writing code just planning very quickly i'm not saying plan for months or days yeah. a couple of minutes so there will be a service that you can load maneuvers and there'll be a service where you can save maneuvers and there'll be an implementation at some point like a core data maneuvers maneuvers it can also be implemented independently or not. It's a choice. So those implement the interfaces and something in the UI will consume the interfaces. For example. Now, they're separated things into discrete pieces of functionality that can be composed. We can decide, should we start from the service, from the repository, from the view? We can start from any point now because they are discrete pieces of functionality. They can be implemented, tested in isolation. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that makes a lot of sense. and. When you have them broken down like this, then it's easier to be like, okay, well, let's say I'm working on the getting. Well, now my testing is all about testing how, whether locally or from a API. Okay, now all my tests are just focused on that one thing and it's not jumping around. Because I think that's what I had issues before is when I was learning, they're like, oh, well, start with the UI because it's the easiest thing to build. But when you start with the UI, there's really nothing to test. So it just. <laughs> yeah, you start testing the UI and then you think, oh, but I, I also need a service. And then you start creating a service and then. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> no set them. plan on how to build it because you start, you're not starting with thinking about it. You just start coding. Yes. Yes. And that's a problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So a well-designed system is formed of small composable components that do one thing well, you know, this one deals with the UI, this one deals with the backend communication, and this one does with, deals with the core data syncing, and that's it. So any complex system can be made out of small composable components. They are very simple, but it's a choice, right? We can, of course, we can decide and say, you know what, you can, you can build the largest app you ever think of in one file, <laughs> or we can split it into small discrete pieces of functionality that can be composed, right? It's a choice. I recommend <laughs> splitting up things. It will be much easier to test, to maintain it over time, to scale it, to have more people in the team working together. So the, a complex system can be built out of small, composable uh, 
components that together they form a complex system they fulfill the needs of a complex system but if you split them apart you can deal of each part of that complexity in isolation and each part of the complexity is simple simple to test simple to change to develop to maintain so i usually start with a diagram and i choose once i have a design I, then it's like okay I'm, I'm happy with this like it doesn't mean that this is how it's going to end up because i don't want to spend months here deciding how is the what is the perfect design we could spend years here trying, and things can always be better but i just want to have a quick sketch to start and as i'm developing it i will as the i see that okay this design is not great here or it's hard to test this here i start adapting this so we spend a few minutes deciding a quick a quick plan you know like designing is planning <laughs> planning for execution so we do a quick planning here and then start implementing 